looks like it is. That sucks. Where, where did all my silk go? Oh, there we go. Okay. It was like, we had a full stack of this. What the hell? Yeah. Now I've dropped her lighter somewhere. Great. I don't know when that happened. It might show up on your map, because it's like a key item. I don't know. No, I didn't see it. <clears throat> the, the modern shoe says we should allow all beta players a smack on the hand button for new players. Oh, man. Too funny. Building out the uh, chest emporium continues. All right. I'm going to. Man, it, now that it's like spring, I'm like not sure what to do. I'm just <laughs> kind of like, well, we made it. We're here. Yeah, I know. We gotta collect, start collecting stuff for summer. I gotta get stone to rebuild our panic room. It got fucked up. Oh yeah, the wolves will be coming before we know it as well. Yeah, they probably will. I've got log suit though, so I'm fine. Oh yeah, do I have a log suit? Yeah. I, do. <clears throat> I don't see like the the thing about whatever this whole IG quote unquote sponsorship thing is. First off, whoever this organization is they clearly don't know what they're doing because they abbreviated their shit after a esports league that's been or esports organization that's been around for ages and everyone's going to confuse them with invictus gaming and go like what the hell is wrong with you people uh which is going to make them having any kind of business life difficult secondly like misfit and the rest of the jotenheimer guys probably have no idea what they actually signed up for because all of these like little tiny esports organizations are rife with all kinds of problems and player abuse. So it's like by like by wearing it, it's basically either doing like zero for them or it's just gonna lead to all sorts of like heartache and problems as time goes on. Cause a lot of these like tiny esports organizations are just fucking parasites. Like full of problems. It's part of the reason why I have so much respect for um, what Riot's trying to do with the LCS, because they're actually putting in like some sort of um, like parameters for making sure that things don't go shit out of control and that these kids aren't being completely taken advantage of, but esports is rife with all sorts of problems, and you know, like Having some like random person approach you and be like, "Yes, I'd love to sponsor you." It's like a recipe for freaking disaster half of the time. <clears throat> but it's funny because like back when like Misfit like started Jotunheimer and he was asking me to join and I was like nope um, he uh I told him I was like I've been in loads of clans and other crap before and it always ends poorly but you're young you've never done any of this stuff before so by all means go ahead and do it you're gonna learn a lot of stuff <laughs> and like yeah this is all part of the realizing how all of this crap actually works which is usually not very well. Yeah, that sounds about right on tilt. That's a pretty good assessment of the situation. Stupid rain. At least I have an opulent pickaxe. It's so opulent, babe. Mm -hmm. So opulent. Oh, hey, the someone killed a bunch of a beehive. Over here, I think it was the tree guard, so I just got loads of stingers. <clears throat> In case you were interested. I see ice, but no stone. There's some stone. 
I picked up a random berry bush. I think it was one that I, like, shoveled up last year. <laughs> <coughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Tech would have never let me in anyway. It's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, sweet H two O. Yeah, Scroyan is a really cool dude. He is one of my favorite peeps. Although at one point him and Kreisberg were talking about leaving, but I think that was that issue got resolved. But like that's part of the reason why I don't really bother with uh, with clans anymore is because it's like too much drama, not enough benefit. Like I have my stream, I have all you guys to hang out with. I get along with everybody. I'm good. I'm in a happy place. Soggy Flint. Everything is soggy. I probably should have brought an umbrella for this little trick. Where are you at, babe? I'm at, I'm at camp. You're at camp? Okay. Um, I'll start walking back over there. I'm hunting the koala hunt, but not having any luck. Oh, man. I'm doing that thing where I'm like, it's springtime, nothing can kill me, and then everything is sad because I'm almost dead. <laughs> from hunger. I, I picked up, oh, I picked up some bee stingers and some rotten eggs. <laughs> Until it's talking about how much Scroyan talks. <laughs> Scroyan is an amazing uh, typer of words into, into chat. Like, imagine live, but on Steam chat. And, like, while you're offline, so, like... <laughs> it sounds terrifying. Well, it's awesome because it's always like really like thought out shit and you kind of feel special that he decided to write like a short novel to you, you know, but at the same time it's a little like overwhelming because it's, uh, because it's scrying. And you're like, I have, there's nothing I can say in response to this that will equal the amount of time and effort you put into writing to me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like that kind of thing. Oh, I collected some seeds for you. On Tilt's trolling my chat now. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to get back to camp. I'm completely soaked and very sad. And I'm still wearing my puffy vest. I don't need to do that because it's nice out now. You just need a straw hat and an umbrella. Let's store that up. Oh, it's full, son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, awesome. Time to dry off. Oh, I got some ice. That's gonna go in the ice box. <clears throat> Ooh, I see that. That was productive. These creepy hands, bro. Creepy hands. GTFO. <laughs> creepy ass xylophones. <laughs> what? Oh, I hate this little tiny chat box. You guys talk too fast. I can't pay attention to everything. It's very sad. It's alright, because the stream's going to be shutting down here real soon. Actually, we should probably shut it down after tomorrow. Okay. Oh, my poor, poor sanity. Okay, let's get that umbrella. Oh, I have fish sticks. That will help. Oh, wait, uh, but I don't have any berries because I ate them. Oh, I ate all mine, too. Oh, but wait, because I have a berry bush. That has no berries on it. That has no berries on it currently. You need two. Don't, I'll, the, you can make some of the fish is in the wet, um, in the wet ice box. That's cool. I'm just going to fertilize these up and, yeah. Bum, yeah, bum. found a suspicious dirt pile, finally. 
I am really psyched about casting the sweet and salty tournament, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Wolves. Ooh, an improved farm. Yes, I will have one of those. Thank you. Honey, the wolves are coming. I don't care. I'm making an improved farm. Clearly more important than the wolves. It looks so nice. Yes, I hear that. All right. I think we're. In, I, I am in fine shape to fight. Where are you at? Where Where did you run to? Oh no! No no! Oh no! <laughs> Here, come to my panic room that has. I'm too far away. No I'm no panic room. Too busy ability. running to like. Oh my god. My thing. Oh my teeth traps actually got a couple of them. Ah oh, my shit. <laughs> Why is he just like barking at Chester? Alright, Tybo. Awesome. Watch some extra anime for me, dude. What the heck? What's going on with these teeth traps? Maybe one of them did break. Interesting. I too am curious to find out what anime you are watching. I'm always interested. Always interested to find out what anime people are watching. <clears throat> Alright, well that is a motley assortment of tooth traps, but I don't care about fixing it right this second. <clears throat> the wolves made me lose track. Did they make you lose track of what the heck was going on? Of now of my... I was sprinting. Whew. They made me lose track of the koala thing. So what do I need for fish sticks besides the fish? Um, two berries and one sticks. Okay. I should be able to find two berries in like the course of a section. I th or in the course of a day. I think you're right on tilt. I think he is gone. Hmm. What are you trying to craft up, the Holy Pail? Are you talking about, like, Brawlhalla competitive community, like, behavioral guidelines? Like, are you trying to turn, like, the competitive community group into more of, like, an existing guild of some kind? Or, like, what's the intent? You only have half a day to answer this before I have to go. How do I turn the screen around? Uh, Q and E. Rotate. Oh, I still have teeth traps, like, rocking, that's why. I don't have enough inventory space to do things. Rules, not guidelines. So we're talking, like, the law, not the pirate code. Okay, that's good. Well, the problem about this kind of thing is that whenever you make any type of rules for anything, the question becomes is like, how are you actually going to enforce it and why are people going to follow? Because if you're not offering any like benefit to people, then they'll just go like, well, I don't care. I'll just go carry out my business elsewhere. And that's generally where the problem comes in with most gaming organizations is they're like, Yes, we're going to employ all these rules because we want people to behave a certain way or do certain things. Um, two berries, one stick, one fish. Mm -hmm. Cool. And they're not actually thinking about why people should listen to those guidelines at all. 
it's like why well, guilds that do like end game content can keep people, but as soon as like you know when as soon as the little guys try to make like any kind of crazy rules, people will just ditch them because it's not worth following all these rules for the benefit that they're getting. All right, man. <clears throat> I don't know, just something to think about. I'm gonna put these berries in here. Nope, I'm going to put the berries in the other one that isn't full. <coughs> I'm going to shoot. Put this 100% spear in here. I'm going to make one more chest because I'll feel like I've accomplished something if I've made more chests. <laughs> I hunted three um, things and didn't find anything. Didn't find anything? Yeah, because I kept losing the tracks. Hunger, health, sanity. I feel like, the, well, actually this will help my health, so that's fine. Cool. All right. Whew. Alright guys, well, I think this is going to be it for the stream tonight, because um, I have, we have made it to spring, that is awesome, Yay. we're still alive, we haven't starved yet, yay, yay. happy goodness, fun times, uh, but we'll probably be back with this at some point soon, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Whenever, you know, you're not too busy with Brawlhalla. Yeah, that'll never happen. <laughs> it's hard to take off a knife, but it's good to take off a knife for Don't Starve. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, man. Velo's still around, Nady Nathan, but I don't know where he is. Anyway, guys, we're going to head out. Continue to... Um, to discuss Brawlhalla things and to love the game so I know all of the discussion on all of these things and all of the questions that we're trying to figure it out is like excellent because it's all coming from a place of love and appreciation for the same game and we will get to better answers for all of this soon it just is kind of difficult to say like oh it'd be nice if things were this way but actually getting to that place the path to that is not always clear so, as time goes on, it'll improve. You know, as far as for all the tournaments that are going on, I know a bunch of you guys are playing in the Grand Tournament tomorrow, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm not going to be in it, but I'm going to try to catch, like, you know, some matches here and there if I have time. Um, but, yeah, just, you know, if you haven't signed up for Sweet and Salty yet, go ahead and do that because it's going to be the best Brawl Hall tournament ever. And that's about it. That's all I got. That's all I got today. But anyway, thanks for watching us uh, play Don't Starve, and wait, actually what I should do, you know, in honor of in honor of the stream ending, I'm going to have a shave. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. It's, uh, here we go, we're going we're gonna to shave. Yay! Yay! Fresh start, new beginning. Alright, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see y'all soon. Good night.